Like your championship team, four lines rolling, getting contributions up and down the lineup. Yeah, we struggled the first, first half of the game. I think Jordan Nolan's fight gave us a little energy, and um, obviously part of the goal in the third was huge. Was the PK early in the third just as big though? Because that could have went the other way, 3 2 ducks if they score. Well, they got a good power play. But I think they've only, I, percentage wise, it's a really good power play, and personnel is a really good power play. So you have to try and manage your way around it. Uh, we hadn't, was little, my biggest concern, obviously, is we didn't have a power play yet mm -hmm. going into the third. I think in our last. That eight, not counting tonight, nine in the, only nine power plays in five games. So, only time we get to practice is in practice. Don't you think this is the best your team's played all season? Not tonight, it wasn't. No. But what about the stretch over the last six, seven games? Played good in Edmonton, Calgary. Yeah. Davis Dorisky seemed to be getting some extra ice time there tonight. Played a pretty solid game defensively. Were you happy with his play tonight? He didn't get any more minutes than he normally gets. Well, the way your team uh, tilted the ice in the third period, but even up until then, and then uh, Kings kind of took over. Well, it's a tight game night. going in the third. Mm -hmm. right? Team played last night, so you're hoping you have a little bit, a little bit more than they do in the tank. It's simple. I mean, schedule is such, and you hear other teams talking about it. Back to back, it's hard on the guys that, that played the night before. Is there a rule where you are allowed to decline a penalty shot and take a power play, or am I just making things up right here? I don't know, but I, I could make it up and say I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, you can't. Yeah. I, I don't think you can, can you? I, I was wondering. If, if it's funny, I was told Brownie this morning, because we were watching uh, shootouts, the real this morning, I told Brownie, if you get a chance, go in there and fake forehand, go, go backhand on as usual, players don't listen to coaches. <laughs> <laughs> and then faked his back and went to his forehand. What was the difference between this game and the first one in Anaheim? You gave up seven tonight, you gave up two. Better goaltending, better defense? Clearly, clearly both. But that game also, we chased the lead. Everybody forgets what it was. We didn't get up seven, we gave up six. Seven was an empty okay, net. Right. Right? We, were, we came two from nothing. two nothing down, we tied two two, we made it four four. Right? The difference in the game was. That. It wasn't that dramatic of a difference in the two games. Would you call this a measuring stick game, or is it just another, just another, another win, just another regular? Measuring game? sticks in a 48 game schedule when you play as much as there is going on here. There's no measuring stick. It's just every game is park and ride, right? Pay the toll, get in the fast lane. Do you even look at the standings? Pardon? Do you even look at the standings? Absolutely. You do. Shorter season, there's more math tightens up. There's going to be eight teams that make it and seven that don't. Would it be just one now, one step, and now you're in now being an eighth spot after where you've been? Where we are now? Yeah, yeah. It's good. See, we were that the other afternoon and when we walked out of here, we were in it, and by the time I got home and got my jammies on, we were <laughs> out of it. <there. laughs> well, at least enjoy it now until tomorrow. Not really. Not really. Before the game was over, I was thinking about Detroit, who was guaranteed was sitting up there watching us. They were. They were. <laughs> kind of figured that. Penner was in a very reflective mood tonight after the game. Have you seen Reflective? Him? Reflective. Good. Yeah. Was, what was reflective? <laughs> you know, saying, you know, he, he wants to appreciate his time in the game more, and he, he understands the mental part of the game. <laughs> my, my goodness. How old is he? 29? He's 30, yeah. yeah. Have you seen any difference in him from the time period when he was scratched earlier in the season to maybe the last week or two? Yeah, he's playing. <laughs> Just to play. So make a decision rather for the next game again. You think on any given given night any team can win? Is that why you know a team with a great record doesn't really matter what their record is? There's you know, the game is that's what salary cap did, right? I mean everybody equal. That's why you've had seven different champions, teams that make it, teams that don't make it. It's clearly, it's clear parity in the league. It used to be top guys, bottom guys, and 4-4, four, four, you see, right? 
balance, everybody's the same. And really when there's no other conference play, it's 15 teams, right? So the three teams that had great starts are teams that are 15 points ahead of everybody. When do you decide who starts a net on Wednesday? Uh, probably Tuesday night. No. Is it Wednesday we play? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Tuesday night. Any update on Alec Martinez? No. It's on injured reserve. Remember the deal? When they come off injured reserve, then you get, you know the update. Active, non roster, inactive, injured, hurt, sick, not dressed, healthy scratch. Is on he waivers. <laughs> <laughs> is he, is he, all the options. Is he any closer to coming off injured reserve? When he's off, then he's off. <laughs>